When you think of a civilization with a plethora of gods, a logographic writing system, and pyramids, you may think of Egypt straight away. But there's another civilization in history that boasts all this too, the Aztecs. It's kind of crazy how many similarities there are between these civilizations, despite how much land and time there was between them. But anyway, if you're like me, you probably have a basic understanding of who the Aztecs were. By that I mean what they looked like and where they came from, and that's about it. So who exactly were the Aztecs? The Aztec people were a who settled in modern Mexico. Their capital city was the lost city of Tenochtitlan, where the modern Mexico City resides. This is something we looked into in the Mexico slash Mexico City video, so go check that out. What's interesting is that the name Aztec wasn't actually used by themselves and actually given to them later in history. They would have called themselves a variety of things such as the Mexicars, a name derived from an alternate name for their main god, and another name they called themselves was the Tenochtitlan, named after the aforementioned capital city. What they didn't call themselves however were Mayan or Inca. These were two other tribes of people who lived in Mesoamerica and they often get confused and mixed up, so I thought I'd clear that up for you. So where did this name of Aztec come from? Well if there's anything I have found out from writing these videos it's that places tend to be named after the people who live there. I would throw out some examples but seriously just watch any of my country videos and you will see that. In this case however it's actually the other way around. The name Aztec derives from their homeland, but Patrick I hear you saying, their homeland was in Mexico and Mexico sounds nothing like Aztec. And and yes, while you're right in saying Mexico sounds nothing like Aztec, you'd be wrong in saying Mexico is their homeland. They settled in Mexico and established their key city there in 1325 CE, but before this the Aztecs were a nomadic people. So where did these nomadic people come from? Their homeland is called Aztlan, which is where we get the name Aztec from. However, if you look at any reputable map, whether that be from now or the past, you won't find somewhere called Aztlan. This is something that has stumped historians for centuries. Where on earth, quite literally, is Aztlan? The true origins of the Aztec people is unknown to us. It's genuinely believed they came from North Mexico, but beyond that, things remain a mystery. Was Aztlan a real place, or was it just a concept that has now become entrenched in Aztec legend? There are many ideas as to what Aztlan was, from a location of myth like Atlantis, to an undiscovered island, to a real location we just haven't been able to identify as Aztlan yet. Searches have been carried out to find it from searching across Mexico to Utah. I'm genuinely surprised Hollywood haven't churned out a movie involving Nicolas Cage hunting down Aztlan yet. The legend goes that the Aztec people were born from the ground, tunnelling through the seven caves and settling in Aztlan. These seven caves reflect the original seven tribes of the Aztecs, different tribes that shared a similar language. These seven tribes came together and settled Aztlan as their home, before eventually migrating and settling in their city of Tenochtitlan. Aztlan has been described as an island paradise in one of the many lakes of Mexico. Some even argue that the fabled cities of Atlantis and Aztlan are one of the same. It's understandable how through whispers a mythical settlement on a lake island could become a mythical settlement underwater. While we may not know where Aztlan is, we have a better understanding of this mythical homeland's name. There's a couple ideas about this name. One idea is that it means means the land of the north, as it's believed to be north of their city, but the more popular etymology is it comes from two words of the Nahuatl language, those being Aztatl and the suffix of Talan. This suffix means the place of and the former word means heron, as in the bird. This would make sense as Aztlan is thought to be an island and heron are very much birds of water. The Aztecs have always had an air of mystery surrounding them, and this can even be seen in their mysterious homeland, and of course, in their name. Thank you to everyone who supports Name Explain on Patreon. I know I normally say how $2 a month gets your name here, and while that is true, supporting Name Explain on Patreon is awesome at any amount. Even just $1 a month gives you access to extra Name Explain goodies. Thank you all once again to everyone who supports Name Explain on Patreon, and thank you to everyone who will consider supporting Name Explain on Patreon.